Hi everyone. Rocketerium model rocket kits all share one thing in common, and that's that they come with ejection baffles so you don't have to use wadding or dog barf or something like that to protect your parachute. Um, most of their kits are based around BT-60 body tubes, and so this one here is the most common. However, um, with the exception of their BT-20, all of these go together pretty much the same way. The BT-20 ejection baffle is a little bit different just because it's so narrow. And so these come with the kits, but you can also buy these separately to retrofit into an old kit or to install into a scratch-built kit of your own design. So very quickly here, we'll just open this up. And they're pretty basic, and they come with their own instructions. Alright, so we should have a coupler and then two baffle plates. And whichever design you get, the idea here is that the holes in the baffle are offset. Either this way, where you have some in the center and some around the circumference, or in some cases it may be half on one side and half on the other. They all work in the same way in that they prevent the direct flow of hot gases from the ejection charge to the parachute and instead make those gases bounce around and become turbulent in here, giving them time to cool off before reaching the parachute. So we will start by putting this screw eye into the forward baffle plate here and it has a little hole just for doing this. And here I'm going to use just a little bit of wood glue. Um, white glue will also work here. Wood glue is a little bit stronger and it also dries faster. And so I'm just going to put a little dollop right on that hole. And now I'm going to screw down the screw eye. Just until I can't see that top thread anymore. I don't want to go past it. I don't want the blank shank here down in the wood. Okay, and then on the back side, it's pushed some of the glue through, and I'm just going to add a little bit more to that. And that'll just give us a really good, strong anchor here. Okay, now I'm going to let that dry for a little bit. And while that is drying, I'm going to put a bead of glue here around the inside edge of one end of the coupler, doesn't matter which. Okay, I'm going to smooth that around with my finger. If you get any on the outside, like that there, just go ahead and wipe that off. We don't want to increase the circumference of the uh, coupler. All right, then we're going to take our other baffle plate and just push that into the glue. All right, and I want to put that in so there's just a little bit of a lip of the coupler above the plate there. Okay. All right, and now I'm going to let both of those pieces uh, just set still and dry for about 10 or 15 minutes and then I'll come back to put everything back together. My glue has pretty much completely dried on both sections now and so now I'm going to put another bead of glue in it here. Like that. 
I'm going to spread this a bit thinner, uh, but also a bit wider than I did the previous one. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in edgewise and then flip it up like that and then I'm going to pull it forward a bit and give it just a little bit of a twist. Okay, and then for the most part doing this pulls the glue into the, the spaces here and forms a little fillet. There's a little blank space here and I'm just going to take this excess glue on my finger here and just put that right along the edge. All right. Now I'm going to turn it back over to the other side and I'm just going to put a small fillet of glue in here uh, because this will have to take the force of the ejection charge on it so you do want it well reinforced. And again, I'm just going to take a finger here and smear that around. Okay, let's see if we can get a close-up here. All right, so this will form a fillet, fillet in there. And on this side, the, simply pulling the um, plate forward help form a fillet around here. Now this just needs to dry for about half an hour, and then it will be ready to go into your model rocket.